But what exactly is the relationship between the strings? When you strum across the strings without fingering any of them, the resulting chord sounds completely random. There's no obvious pattern. So why are they tuned like this? And just exactly how are they tuned? Well, let's just think about it for a minute. It's pretty obvious that much of the guitar player's time is spent down near the nut in the open position. Most guitar players place their fingers along the frets, one finger per fret, just like they've been told by their teacher, in what we might call the classic position. The tuning of the guitar is based on this idea. It allows you to play up to two octaves of popular scales like C, F, D, E, G, and others in the open position without moving your hand from the classic setup. In other words, it's tuned to take advantage of the four-finger classical setup. As a result, the guitar strings are five frets apart. If you play up the A string, for example, that is the second fattest string, you get to the fourth finger and then can move to the open D string for the next semitone without having to move your entire hand up the neck. The convenience of this is reflected when you play many of the most often used major scales and the songs that are based on them. Take the C scale, for example. Starting at A3 with finger 3, you can go up an octave to B1. And beyond to G without moving your hand. Or the G scale is an even better example. You can play two full octaves if you start on the E string at E3 and go up to the high E string at E3 there. So exactly how are the strings tuned? The bottom line is that each higher string is tuned five semitones or five frets higher than the previous one. For example, if you play fret five of the A string, that is string five, it's the same note as the open value of the D string, string four. This makes fret five one of the most important frets on the guitar, what I call a super fret. Most beginning guitar players soon learn that you can use fret five to help you tune your guitar properly. If you have your low E string tuned properly, the next string, the A string, will be the same as fret 5 of the E string. And the third string, that's the D string, will be the same as fret 5 of the A string, and so on. That is, until you get to the B string, string 2. That one is only four frets higher than the G string. Now I've been assuming you know what note each individual string is tuned to. In case you don't, the sequence starting at string six, the fattest string, is E, A, D, G, B, and E. Memorize that sequence. E, A, D, G, B, E. You'll refer to it a million times in your guitar playing career. A useful way to help you remember this is to memorize the phrase Eddie ate dynamite, goodbye Eddie. That's E, A, D, G, B, E. So there you have it. Now you know how and a little bit of why the guitar is tuned the way it is. All that's left is to learn how to play it.